Hey guys, uh, I am coming to you from my new DJI Osmo Action. Hopefully the uh, video is a little bit more steady because I'm, I think I'm shooting with rock steady. Um, <clears throat> today was the day I was supposed to take my van to the um, service place out in Troy, a little over an hour away from us, an hour, hour and a half. Well, I got in the van to start it, wouldn't start wouldn't start uh wouldn't even the key wouldn't even end up turning big problem okay so i call mercedes i call the dealership they're like sorry you know we can have it delivered or we can have it towed for you if you've been here within the last was it year it's free and i'm like well i've got the extended warranty like i'm pretty sure that should be covered um well yeah you can have it delivered you can have it delivered to our dealership well that's the dealership that couldn't see it for a while so that wasn't going to help me out so they're like, oh, but you could probably have it delivered there too. So I call uh, Mercedes-Benz extended warranty roadside assist. And the first woman that I spoke to says, sorry, you can't have it delivered to that place because it's not a dealership. So I call, the guy's name is Jake. And uh, he was like, no, we actually are a dealership. So here's my dealer number, call them back and they should be able to you know, deliver it to us. So I call back and the lady I call back, I give her the number. She's like, sure, no problem. I don't know why the other lady couldn't find it when you gave her the address, but you're good to go. So they get here. Well, we can't get the key to turn, so we can't get it in neutral. So they have to drag it and they have to drag it back this way. So it was parked where it normally is right here. You see the tire marks. They dragged it back along here. So you can see the tire marks all the way back to here. And then they pulled in front. So they pulled around over to here. And then they came in front and they backed in. I'm going to show you guys some video. I'll probably time lapse it for you. Um, I haven't heard from them, so I'm hoping it got there in one piece, but not real. The guy was really nice. So, and it's a Mercedes. Apparently, Mercedes gives you like a, a thing to bolt to the frame to tow. I didn't know that. He knew it. We looked in the car, found it. It's like an eye bolt that screws onto the frame and they use that to tow. But because it's higher than they normally put something underneath the undercarriage, it kind of pulled it down. They really compressed the, the shocks quite a bit. And because it was on the right side of the car, it kind of pulled the car to the side. It wasn't, it wasn't pretty looking. Uh, I think, so he came, first. the first time he came at one o'clock, he came, he's like, they didn't tell me, I don't have a big enough truck. I was like, okay, he's like, I'll be right back. So what do you think? When you hear, I'll be right back. I think, I don't know, less than half an hour, right? You got to go get something, come back. 45 minutes go by and I'm like, where is this dude? So I call the number for the towing company and they're like, oh, you know, he's here. He should be in 20 minutes. So, you know, over an hour later, mosquitoes, um, he comes back. And by this time, like we have stuff to do this evening. Uh, in fact, my wife is with the kids at uh, church. Um, so now you're, he's cutting into our getting ready for our family pictures time because we're going to church to get our pictures for the, uh, what are they, they have one of those, um, whatchamacallit, you know, an, uh, a book with all the people in it, a directory. That's what it's called, directory. See, I figured it out eventually. So it was just stressful. Um, finally got it on the back of the truck. When he had gotten over here, he kind of came, because he couldn't get it on straight, he brought it over here. Kind of dumped it off pulled it back on when he had it angled down there was coolant leaking out of the back underneath the floor out the back door that can't be good i don't know it looked awfully top heavy it didn't look great i wouldn't have been surprised if they flipped it over on the way to troy we'll see what happens hope you guys enjoy the video um but it's just been an emotionally draining day one of those things where it's like i just expected i'd be able to drive there my mom would bring me back. We'd do, go about our day. Instead, everything was kind of thrown in. And I think it was just one of those days, too, because my little fella uh, was not happy today. He was just, he, wherever he was, he wanted to be someplace else. If he was with me, he wanted to be with mom. If he was with mom, he wanted to be with me. So, such is life. Anyway, here's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you've had problems. I'm not not going to be going to that uh, dealership anymore than the one in Novi. 
but hopefully this works out. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. God bless you. I'll see you in the next one.